so I was requested to do an eyelash tutorial. This is my third time recording this video, so I'm hoping it will get posted because my other two got lost along with all my other footage for content. But anyway, we won't we won't dwell on it. We are going to focus and be positive on the future. So first two things you need um, are tweezers. I have the ones that are curved, but you can use whatever ones you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable using tweezers, that is fine, you've got your fingers. The next thing is scissors. I use the standard nail scissors, but you can use any that you want. Um, the smaller ones are better, in my opinion, because you haven't got like a large blade. You know what I mean. Anyway, so I've, I like these type of style lashes. Where it, go, where it starts off thinner and then it goes thicker as it goes across. But you get other lashes, so you get some dramatic ones like this, where it's more or less the same length from end to end. Okay, so with these ones, I'm just going to use these ones because I'm already holding them. It doesn't necessarily matter what end you cut off if you need to. And I will go through that in, in a second. Whereas these type of style lashes, it does matter. So if you need to cut these lashes down, cut them down from the longer side. Whereas, like I said, these ones, it doesn't really matter. But these ones from the longer side. Okay, so like I said, I like prefer these ones, so I'm going to use these ones. And I can't find the ones that I used yesterday, so we are going to have to do the same again. I, rough, I, have, I know how much I need to cut off, but just so I can show you. So when you take them... Off the packaging um, for the first time I like to give mine a wiggle just so that easier to manoeuvre work with okay so with my handheld mirror I'm just gonna literally place it like I'm, like I'm applying it okay and like I know I need the end cut off because it's a little bit too long so I'm gonna chop the end off so again, so this is the smaller bit, this is the longer bit, and this is where I'm cutting, it's the longer bit. And I'm just going to cut one segment, which is, is it still on my scissors or have I lost it? Oh, there it is. So literally, that is how much I cut off. Because that's all I need. You don't need to cut off more than you need. Okay. So put that aside, get you with a lash. And usually your eyes are the same size. Mine are. Uh, it's very rare that you, you have your eyes different sizes. But if you want to play safe, feel free to measure both eyes and a cut, cut accordingly. Okay. So I'm going to get my lash that I've already cut. And I'm going to stick it to the other one not properly stick it like it's going to stuck glue together wrong end so i'm going to start from the short end it's not it's not playing with me now all the way across and that's my guide to cut off the second one so i don't have to measure my eyes for the second time and there you go jobs Jobs are good and take them apart. Get your fresh lash that you've not learned to cut off. Give that a wiggle to bend the band. Just so it's easier for you to work with. You do have some excess of like band, if you will. That keeps the lashes in place. Feel free to cut that off as well. I do cut mine off because it irritates my eyes. Uh, but if you're fine with it, then you don't need to worry about it. You take your lash glue, there's different types of lash glue. I prefer the one with a brush so you can brush it on. Or you get um, this one where it's a tube. This is not, I don't, so it goes all like that. So yeah, I don't like the, that one. But I have used it and they are pretty decent. And then you get uh, the other lash glue. So you get one that looks like an eyeliner. Again, this has been used. Um, you just literally apply it like your eyeliner and then you just put your lash straight on top. But 
I do prefer the brush. The one I'm using is by Be Perfect Cosmetics. So I literally put a layer of glue straight across the band, like so. Pop that lash down for a second and I'll do the other lash. Love it, love it. I can get my words out then. Okay, so then you take your lash that you first applied the glue on. Give it a blow. <coughs> this is to speed up the drying time. Each glue is different. I have had glue that I need to put straight onto my lashes and then put the lashes straight onto my eye. There's no drying time because it dries down that fast. This one just takes like a minute if that and then i stick mine from the center go across instantly to the outer corner stick down and then with my tweezers i just need to push the inner corner down and it's like so i'll show you again so we take the other lash again you hold the two ends you give it a wiggle just like keep it mobile as much as you want realistically but uh, as soon as you take it off as a brand new lash i do give it a wiggle for definite just so you've got that play okay so again we are going to line the lashes together stick in the middle push down onto the outer corner for that to stick now i'm showing you it's like just not playing it doing its told like so There you go, and with the curvy bit of the tweezers, I literally pinch the lashes together. You are using tweezers, I'd strongly advise being careful so you don't do what I do and just poke yourself in the eye. Thankfully it was the curvy bit that caught my eye. And there you have it, lashes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon.